days. What it is? Um, so I looked at the I looked at the charts today, the astrology, see what the planets was, and we got six, I think six sign, six planets and fire signs. I said, okay, that makes perfect sense for the day. Cause I just I had like the worst night at work ever. Like, shit just kept falling and. I kept running in this shit, <laughs> you know, it just all the, you know, all that little bad shit that just keep happening I, all night. And last night I was pissed off. There was an angry video. I was pissed off, and now I see there's a lot of fire in the chart. So just like anybody operating on their lower nature, I let my emotions get the best of me, and I vented some things that I may should have kept to myself, but. Obviously, I didn't give a damn because I still uploaded the video. So, my reasoning for doing this video was, like, my point in the last video was, like, I mean, you know, it's just like, like, when are y'all going to understand that it's, like, literally people out here that literally hate you enough that they would plan for a way to kill you your ch your children and your children's children and not even know you or meet you but they hate you that much that they got plans in place for your ass whenever you decide to do anything they got a plan put in place to fuck you over in some shape form or fashion all right a lot of y'all don't want to accept that that is fact if you are a black person in the United States of America. And act and in actuality, if you are a dark skinned person, probably anywhere in this Christianized world. Okay? And why do I say Christianized world? Because it's run by the the Vatican. Christians. I mean, isn't the Pope probably the most Okay, if you don't think that the Vatican and, and this is a Christianized world, then who is not the Pope the most basically the most important person on the planet I mean name someone more important than the Pope to the world now to you you'll say well Obama is more important or some shit but you know Obama kisses his ring like the all other presidents before him so you know who's more important okay so look up Spanish Inquisition or you know Christian Crusades or, uh, you know, the uh, Punic Wars between Carthage and Rome. It's all the same shit. It's all the newborns on the planet fighting the old, the old ones, the ancient people on the planet. It's the lighter skinned people on the planet fighting the dark skinned people on the planet. And now the dark skinned people are down, the lighter skinned people are up. Now, does that mean that every so-called light, skin, every light, lighter skinned person is, you know, against you or whatever? Of course not. But this system that runs the world is a white supremacist system that promotes the paler skinned nations as a hierarchy above all others. All right, and that system has caused the world to be as fucked up as it is. All right, so all of you people who are pale skin and and have benefited from this system it is on you right to stand up against it because you're gonna keep promoting it and you're gonna fight for it and you're gonna go down with it because this shit going down i mean if you don't know how fucked up the world is then look it up it's fucked up and it's because of this system it's because of the people who run the world aren't running the world with the world's best interest. They're running the world with their best, best interest. This is the true evil of the world, okay? These people have got, you know, these Illuminati, whatever you want to call them, whatever, you know, Freemasons and bones, skull and bones and blah, 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 whatever, have conspired against the world and they Kept all the certain the the, the secrets is the science. The secrets is the sciences of life and the history of the real world. That's the secrets that they hold against you. Learn the secrets, and they have absolutely no power. 
what the fuck are they going to do to you? Other than, you know, you know, try to kill you if you, <laughs> you know, you get to a certain, if you get to a certain, certain stature, you know, they might try to do something to you. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, hey, you know, you're going to die, you might as well die for something, right? I mean, or what? Or what? And that's my point. Or what? What y'all gonna do? So you now you not, so you know you got these evil people who hate you, who literally have plans to kill you. Look up the King Alfred plan, Rex eighty four plan. It's a plan set in place. Soon as you niggas get ignorant, to put you niggas in every shape, shape, form, or fashion away from them, in camps and death and blah 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 blah. King Alfred plan, Rex eighty four. Uh, Black Christian black clothes, secret treaty of Verona, all this shit, all this shit they got written. Uh, silent weapons for quiet wars, or quiet weapons for silent wars, whatever the fuck. All this shit they do to you, black man, black woman, just because they fucking hate you, just because you're a black man and you're a black woman, and this isn't your end all be all, but this is theirs. Okay, so they gonna fight for this shit when you uh, be passive and just say, you know what, well, whatever. You know, you crazy motherfuckers come over here killing babies and shit for a patch of land. Here, take the land. We'll leave. We'll go build up some shit over here. We don't We don't need it. We ain't got to deal with you crazy motherfuckers just for some land. All right, y'all can have it. We'll go over there and build this. We go over there. Then they come over there and come kill us over there too. Well, goddamn. At some point, you can't just keep saying, being passive and saying, you know, you can have it. And I don't want to deal with that. At some point, you have to stand the fuck up and say, look here, bitch. Quit the shit. Goddamn! How much? How many ass kickers we gonna take, man? Goddamn, dog! Just, just keep taking L's, and it's just like, oh, life. Oh, these white folks. Oh, ain't nobody looking at themselves for nothing. Nothing. Projected ignorance. Projected emotions. You don't know. So you don't think that people in front of you don't know. But they know. You the one that's out to lunch, as you know, Brother Ty Streak always said. You the one that don't know. You know, but they know. And they operating off this shit. And that's why they're winning. They're not winning because they're smarter than you or better than you. They're winning because you are ignorant. You are ignorant. Stop being ignorant. It just means you ignore Ra. Ignore runs. <laughs> Ra means light. Knowledge. You ignore facts, man. The facts is they put the drugs in our community. Right? Ronald Reagan put the drugs in our community. And then they gave the drug dealers the drugs. Right? And then they gave the cops the authority to go arrest niggas who do drugs. Right? And then in the 90s, they put a three-strike rule in place. So if once you get the, you know, the little weed case, and then you get the little tickets case or whatever the fuck, that's two strikes, and then you get another case and go to jail for 20 years. How many niggas is in there for 20 years? My brother doing 20 years, nigga, then. 18 already. 17. 18. Already. So the three strikes rule, just to get Nick, and that was Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton, Mr. Saxophone. With his smooth ass. Alright? Three strikes rule. They made the movie about it. Remember? Alright. Sending niggas to jail, right? So that's Bill Clinton. You know how more niggas went to jail when Clinton wasn't wasn't j was in uh, office than when Bush did. Ain't that a bitch? But Clinton is a Democrat, right? Democrat democracy, because they like the black people. Right? So that's what they did. This is facts. This is what your government did to you. And now you people are actually considering voting for Hillary Clinton. We knew Hillary was running it when, when Bill was president. He was getting some head. <laughs> he didn't have time to run the presidency. She was. So she was putting them niggas in jail. And now y'all gonna let her come back and finish what she started? black women y'all have been y'all have been completely bamboozled completely and black men a lot of y'all too you know but i mean y'all too but what y'all gonna do for one barry sanders ain't getting in there period it ain't happening i'm sorry so i mean 
What y'all gonna do? What is your pussy? But y'all just think, these white folks just ain't gonna do us like that, even though they been doing us like that? Y'all better understand. These motherfuckers don't like you. And I don't mean the average every day, all right? You know, to you mother, to you people, you average every day. I mean, I work around white people every day. I ain't got, I have, I, God damn it. I ain't got time for the racist shit. I don't care, okay? I do not fucking care about your fucking color on your fuck ass skin, all right? Fuck you and your skin, all right? Black, blue, brown, white, colored, fuck ever, man. These motherfuckers out here are evil. These motherfuckers eat people. Nigga, look up Cannibal's Cookbook, nigga. These motherfuckers eat people. What? Look it up. It's on Amazon. They don't hide it. Cannibal's Cookbook. That's what you're dealing with. You're dealing with people that eat people. And you gonna vote? For what? How you gonna get ate? Anyway, there's a lot of fire in the sign. You know, Mars is in Sagittarius. You know what I'm saying? The sun is in Aries. The moon is in Sag. You know, out this fire. I'm an air sign. So, you know, this is what I'm gonna do. All right? Astrology is in everything. So anyway, peace and love. What is you niggas gonna do? Eh, I just want to know. We leave it in the comments. Peace.